Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial by the Magic Monk. Today we're going to model a different 3D shape in Blender. So last lesson I think we learned how to scale our objects and today we're going to edit our objects um, using a bit more advanced techniques and uh, try to make some sort of chair. Okay, so last lesson I think we did a computer case which is just a rectangular prism and this lesson it's going to be a chair. So that should be slightly more interesting to you guys. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is make the seat um, as a sort of a skinny rectangle uh, skinny rectangular prism so I'm going to uh, scale the z-axis a little bit so the z-axis is right now 1 so I'm going to make that 0 0.5 it's still a bit thick so 0 0.25 okay so it's a bit skinnier uh, and this is the part where we sit on the chair okay now because we're gonna add in a few more shapes to this so we're gonna have to edit the object so what we're gonna do is press the tab key and once you press tab you get into edit mode and edit mode is where you can instead of selecting the whole object you can select either an edge or a face and then you can rotate you can scale rotate or translate what you have selected so for example if we select a face and then you right click and choose a particular face you want to select so feel free to move around and select different faces okay if you select a face and you want to translate it so you can just simply select the translate manipulator and then you can move it up like this or move it to the left or move it to the right move it to the front or to the back like so Okay, and control Z to undo all of that. Okay, so control Z. Okay, uh, so you can select if you want a particular edge. So you can right click and select any edge and then you can move it up, move it down and so on. And obviously you can uh, try rotating it and so on. Okay, so what we're going to do is firstly press T to bring up the transform uh, well the tools panel sorry and what we're going to do is select a face so choose face select select the top face of our shape and I'm going to subdivide it Okay, so I'm going to subdivide, I'm going to subdivide again. Okay, so you can see here that I have subdivided it into 16 bits. And then I'm going to right click and select the bottom four. Okay, so I'm pressing shift and I'm right clicking the bottom four faces that I have selected. And I'm going to move these up. Okay, so I've moved these four faces up. And notice that as I've moved them up, uh, these four faces that are attached to it have sort of come up with it at an angle. Now, if that's what you want, great. Uh, if that's not what you want, 
then what you're going to have to do is instead of shifting them upwards okay you're going to have to pick uh, extrude extrude sorry and the shortcut for that is alt e alt e um, so actually you can probably just press e and then you can extrude the chair the back of it so I move it up a little bit to here okay and you can see here as you're extruding you're changing the Z corner of this face okay so the Z corner right now is 10.20 uh, so feel free to change that to 10 to make the numbers a bit more uniform and 0 like that okay if you want nice and round numbers okay now we're gonna do something similar to the bottom of the chair okay so I'm going to right click and select the bottom face of the chair and I'm gonna again subdivide it okay subdivide subdivide and notice how the bottom of the chair I only need the four corners of it so right click select by shift clicking the four corners and again I'm gonna press E to extrude down okay extrude down so again if you want to make the Z axis number nice and round so negative 8 or something like that so now this is all nice and round okay now if we press tab key again to get back into object mode so press tab will switch between object mode and um, edit mode so now you can see that we have a chair now I know that not many chairs look like this but uh, basically this is what we have okay uh, actually I'm just gonna do one more thing so I'm gonna select these three faces and I'm going to translate it out a little bit so G oops press G and then we're gonna translate it along the Y axis so Y and then move it out slightly okay so you have a bit more room to sit on okay uh, thanks for watching the tutorial guys hopefully you learn how to make a chair uh, I just realized that um, the legs have gone a bit funny but I'm sure that you guys have learnt enough to fix that yourself so thanks for watching guys see you next time